They're pink, black, and purple meatballs. So as Lonnie stated earlier, we are doing two braided feed-in buns using purple and pink braiding hair. This was my first time using braiding hair on Lonnie's fine silky hair and I ran into so many problems. So we're going to get into details on what went wrong and how I had to make my adjustments. So I started off using a leave-in conditioner as her moisturizer for her braids and that was absolutely hard. It made her hair very tacky and sticky and I could not glide my hands through it while braiding. So I ran into a lot of tangles trying to create her cornrows. And I didn't want to braid her hair freshly washed because it's really, really soft after a fresh wash. I did want it to have some weight to it. So her last wash day was probably about a week and a half ago and I was gonna allow her to wear these braids. I didn't think they would last for no more than three or four days. I also started off applying Eco Styler Gel to her edges. I thought that would give her hair more slip, um, but it was way too much slip and I couldn't grip her hair, so I ended up switching to an edge control gel, which is a little bit thicker, and that helped me out a lot. My technique for doing the feed-in braids, I um, add one side of the strand underneath my index finger and the other side goes over my index finger to blend it in seamlessly. That's how I used to do my feed-in braids, but I found out that that was just too much hair at one time for Lonnie's thin hair and I ended up fighting with her hair and the weave. So um, later I had to change my method of feed-in by doing one strand at a time and just underneath my index finger, if that makes sense. And this is where I began to just add one strand at a time to her braid versus both strands. Um, and as you can see, one strand's hanging and then I pull it back after I braid in the first one. And this is where the battle begins. Um, her hair was tangling so bad. Like her texture is like a Barbie doll. Like it's, it is just like Barbie doll hair. I don't know how to explain it um, any other way. And the braiding hair has more of a texture to it. So they just were not agreeing with one another when I was trying to add this hair into her hair. In actuality, I redid that one braid like three times because I was fighting with it so much. Um, and Lonnie was so uncomfortable and it was hurting her head. So this probably would be a one and done thing for me unless I find another way to do it for her and she's not as uncomfortable and hurting so bad. Lonnie was absolutely miserable getting these braids in, but she wanted that color so bad that she endured that pain from me trying to grip her hair and grip the braiding hair. So she was a trooper. I will give her that. I had to give my baby some, some baby Tylenols before I put her to bed. Poor thing. <laughs>
So I got done with one side of her hair and I group all her braids up, put a rubber band around it, and then we will roll it into a bun and use several more rubber bands and bobby pins to hold it in place. I did have to take a break after completing this first bun. My hands were killing me and I'm pretty sure Lonnie appreciated the pause from the pain as well. And we picked right back up after an hour or so. I have braided Lonnie's hair before. This is not my first time doing actual cornrows on her hair. It was just my first time adding weave and it just, it just did not play out the way we thought it would. Um, but she was really excited about getting purple in her hair. She, that's all she wanted to, that's all she just kept saying was, Mommy, I just want my purple in my hair. And I even tried to talk her out of it and say, let's do something else. So um, after we were done, she was ecstatic about it. She was highly pleased and she just wanted to run around and tell her sisters how she had purple and pink in her hair. So finishing touch, I go ahead and lay down her edges with some Eco Styler Gel and I will use some Pump It Up holding spray. Um, hopefully that will help with keeping her flyaways and frizz down for the next couple of days. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Now we'll be starting on Baby Boo's hair. We will be doing two cornrows going straight back. Very simple and easy for young Boo. This is also my first time using weave to achieve Boo's cornrows. She will also be getting feed-in braids like Lonnie with the purple and pink hair. Um, her hair is a lot thinner than Lonnie's, but it has more curl and texture than Lonnie's. Not as much curls as Kalia, so her texture falls right in between my two oldest daughters. Um, doing braids on her hair isn't too difficult and i'll be using eco styler gel on her edges and that worked just fine boo was not a fan of her feet and braids she didn't like the hair extensions she loved the color but she did not like the hair so she was doing a lot of squirming. It was a little difficult trying to get her braids to look nice and neat. Um, so I had to improvise and put on some Baby Sharp to keep her still.
I'm going to finish up Boo's two braids going straight back and then roll them up in a bun in the back of her head to keep them away um, from her playing with them throughout the day. Um, with her hair being so fine, these braids will probably last maybe a day or two. I don't even see her making it towards the end of the day. Finally will be Kalia's hair. We'll be braiding her feet and braids into a top bun. Um, I first start out on blown, dried, stretched hair to make it a little bit more manageable for me to braid her hair and I will part her hair from ear to ear. Once I part her hair from ear to ear, I will then take that part and part that in half and do a small triangle going up towards the middle of her head. Detangle and we will begin braiding. To lay down her edges, I use edge control gel instead of the Eco Styler. Cal's hair was definitely a lot more easier to manage and to add her feet and braids to her hair. I didn't run into as many problems as I did with Lonnie and Boo. So her style was fairly easy compared to her sister's. I am now complete with Kalia's braided ponytail slash bun. You can leave the braids out. Um, we chose to put them up in a bun so they're up and away from her face. I did not dip any of the girl's hair into hot water um, for the ends to seal them. I don't plan on the hairstyles lasting no more than a week for all of them. So I found that unnecessary, especially when they're going to be in a bun anyway. Now we're going to spritz her hair and we are all done with this style. Thank you. Thank you for watching.